and God is on. Band of the Son of Man, Tribe of the Scribe, Syndicate of the Significant. God bless you guys. Great to have you back here with us on God On. <clears throat> Getting ready to start a brand new teaching to dissect it. We actually had the introduction to it yesterday, and I hope you were uh, tuned in for it. But we're celebrating here in Iowa. Wind's blowing about, I don't know, 125 miles an hour out there. And uh, I was going to do the thing outside, but I, I couldn't. I'd have to nail my feet to the ground to talk to you. Wind's blowing so much, but that's kind of normal in Iowa. They call Chicago the Windy Cities because they get our leftovers as it travels from west to east. So anyway, last day of winter. Ta-da! Yes! Hallelujah! I'm ready for spring. How about you guys? You know, bursting forth a new life. Resurrection season, right? Well, anyway... We're going to say goodbye to uh, uh, winter, and we've enjoyed being in here and our times together, our fellowship at the fireplace, but we'll we'll go to the fire pit outside and have some campfires all summer long. I love the, uh, the smell of wood smoke, wood smoke, tremendous, boy, it's, it's, uh, it's a, an essential oil cure for me. Anyway, I got some uh, coffee going, guys. And uh, if you got a cup, you can pretend you're with me here and join in. Whew. Just got it right off of the fire. And it was percolating. I don't know about you, but I like the old time percolators. Okay. I don't think you can get better coffee than. I'm going to put it back on the fire if you don't mind, because I'm going to want some a little later. Got to kind of arrange those logs where it holds on. And I'm just praying that while I'm teaching, it's not going to flip over. <clears throat> nah, it's not going to do that. In Jesus' name. Amen? i tell you what I'm going to do. I'm just going to set it right down right here. Because I don't want to overcook it. I'm going to scald it, burn it, and get that, all that going. But anyway... Say la vie. We'll see you. We'll see you, winner. Been nice knowing you. I'm ready for spring. Man, I tell you what, coffee with the wood smoke taste can't beat it. Let's get into the word. Okay? Now, Mark 5:34 is one of our theme scriptures. It says, Go in peace, Jesus speaking to the woman with the issue of blood. Go in peace. Your faith has made you whole. Didn't say your faith has made you part or partial. It said your faith has made you wholly alive, wholly well, wholly blessed. So we're going to claim wholeness. We're claiming wholeness in three ways in our teaching. Through healing, health, and longevity. The blessings of the covenant that God made with Abraham back in the book of Genesis. And so we're believing God to do that for you and me because we are heirs of the covenant of Abraham through Christ Jesus. Now, John 14, 6, Jesus said, I am the way, I am the truth, I am the life, okay? The way is health, the truth sets you free, which is healing, and the life, what does the life do? It gives you longevity. And so we're here to fulfill and complete the mission that God's called us to complete in our lives. Now, what are we going to talk about today? We're talking about healing today, not health, not longevity, but healing today. We're going to go, we're going to go in a series of threes, healing, health, longevity, healing, health, longevity, in that order, in the days. Okay, guys? All right. So, number one, healing, healing is God's choice for your life. Somebody say, I claim the choice of God. I claim the choicest life, okay? God's chosen life for me. Now, I wanted to share with you something right here. This is a, uh, this is a Jewish talit, which is a prayer shawl. And at the end of the talit, there's, there are four different tassels 
on all of the ends of the talit. Okay, you see those tassels there? Okay. And those tassels are called tzitzit. And the tzitzit, the tzitzit ayot, is there because God commanded them to put that on their mantles or their prayer shawl in Numbers 15, 37 through 40, Deuteronomy 22, 12. And it represents 613 commandments of God and the blessings that come from keeping the commandments of God. Okay, the word tzitzit, which is this, what this is, this tassel, the number of all of the letters in Hebrew, each letter has a number. And if you count up all of the numbers of the letters of the word tzitzit, it's 600, okay? Then there are eight strings and five knots here. Eight strings and five knots, okay? Now, what does that make? 608 and five is 613. And according to the rabbis, there are 613 commandments and blessings of the commandments in the Old Testament. So when the little woman with the issue of blood took a hold of the hem or the border of his garment on all four borders, north, south, east, and west, completely surrounded by the covenant of God and the blessings of keeping the commandment of God, when she laid her hand on the fullness of the covenant promises of God, virtue flowed out of the talit, flowed in, to the woman that had the issue of blood and the blood stopped and she was healed. She had an issue of blood and Jesus said, woman, go in shalom, wholeness, nothing broken, nothing missing, okay? Go in wholeness, your faith, when she laid hold of the hem of his garment, your faith has made you whole, okay? She was healed. And she'd suffered for years and years and years and years, bleeding internally for years. But when her faith connected with the promises of God, she was made whole. Praise God. Now, she had an issue of blood. She knew to take hold of the hem of Jesus' garment because in Malachi chapter 4, verse 2, it says, The Son of Righteousness will arise with healing in his wings. And the Jews would call the seats see their wings their wings so lord lift us up on wings where we belong okay lift us up on on wings to soar above sickness and disease we claim it don't we all right now number one the older testament the older testament i don't call it old testament because we always associate something worn out or done away with with old it's older it's the book that Jesus preached out of, okay? The Older Testament is a healing book, all right? Psalm 105, 37, the Bible says, when the children of Israel came up out of Egypt and were in the wilderness, there was not one feeble in all of their tribes. Exodus 15, 26, I am the Lord that heals you of all of your diseases. Deuteronomy 7, 15, I am the Lord and I will take away from you all sickness. Praise God. Number two, the Newer Testament is a healing book. 1 Peter 2, 24, he himself bore our sins in his body on the cross. By his wounds, you have been healed. Praise God. He healed them all, the Bible says, in, in the book of Acts, that Jesus went about doing good and healed all that came to his meetings. Now, number three, the Trinity agrees for healing. Now, the Holy Spirit in 1 Corinthians 12, 9, he gives gifts of healing by the Spirit. So the Holy Spirit agrees for healing of sickness. Okay, I'm going to show you what wellness is here. The Holy Spirit agrees for healing of sickness. Now, number two, the Father, Jehovah God. In Jeremiah 30, 17, it says, I will heal you and I will restore health to your wounds. So he heals us, the Holy Spirit heals us of sicknesses. The Father heals us of our wounds. He mends us. He puts us back together again. 
Acts 10.38, Jesus went about doing good, healing all that were oppressed of the devil. And oppression means taxation of the devil. Okay? So addiction is a taxation on your body. So Jesus sent those that couldn't operate outside of that realm of addiction to infirmity and addiction to weakness and addiction to demonic bondages. He set them free by casting out spirits of infirmity. So the Trinity agrees for wellness, healing of sickness, healing of injury, and healing of spirits of infirmity and breaking the bondages of addiction. I'm going to agree with you for that right now. I feel the anointing of the Holy Spirit right now. Father, in the name of Jesus, we lay hold, we lay hold right now to the hem of your garment. We lay hold to the promises of God. They are yes and they are amen. Heal the people today. Lord, heal them of their sicknesses, Holy Spirit, their injuries, Father, their addictions and spirits of infirmity and bondage, things they say they can't live without. I pray that you'd break that because there's only one thing we can't live without, and that's your presence. You are the healer, and God is on your healing right now. In Jesus' name, amen. Stay tuned, child of God. The best is yet to come.